Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM 23 Lions. This is episode 32. We continue on with our second objective of the year after smashing the first one, but not quite coming away with victory in it. Uh, here, it's the Saudi Arabia Tour. We need to win a stage. We're already on stage number three of five. It's supposed to be a sprint stage, but when you look at the profile at the end, it doesn't feel much like a sprint. It's got enough of a punchiness to it that most sprinters can be put in their place by a good puncher. So Arab has now let us out. Matoni is going to take over, and De Villiers is going to get going soon after that. I should have already uh, gelled up for Matoni, but we're pushing on pretty hard. Inside 9K already, we have managed to get out front, which is nice. We've got a little sprint section coming up here. De Villiers is probably going to end up leading us through that. There you go, on to uh, De Villiers, Shimwe, Gel, under 7K. Molebron is the guy we are riding for. We're supposed to have plus twos across the board. We really did not luck out on that one this time. De Villiers does go through first. Shimwe following him through. 5K to go. Okay, we're going to back off just a little bit with the Shimwe here. I'm hurting Samuels. Don't want to be hurting those guys. 3.4K. That's it for a Shimway. On to Burhi and on to the climb. Two kilometers to go. Two kilometers to go. Here we go. Some 1.4K. The final part is a brief sprint. So Samuel is leading out Mullabron now. Inside a kilometer, sprinting and sprinting. Uh-oh, here comes a fast man on the right, but Mullabron might just hang on to it. And we've done it. Yes. We got our stage win ahead of Hugo Page. Frederick Vers Versness. Samuels takes fourth ahead of our old nemesis, Mark Hershey, who is still with Hoggins Berman Axian for this season. Great. That means we are going to be butting heads with him over and over again still. Burhey takes ninth field sees some splits we get a one four nine we got our stage win so theoretically we could probably move on at this point we'll see what happens with the two stages because i wouldn't mind continually pushing to take the overall as well same time given all the way down to 91st position so the 10 second bonus from mullebron is all we pick up samuels no bonus burhey no bonus so this race is far from done but maybe we'll see what we can do GC-wise from here on out. On to stage four, and the best defense against protecting your jersey seems to be putting somebody in the breakaway. Now, they don't like having the lead team getting somebody in the breakaway, but with effort, I was able to get Burhey into the break. They caught him a little bit ago, so Burhey, I sat up a little bit, realizing that they were going to be caught fairly soon. And... I'm going to let those two continue to do some work here for just a little bit on the front, protecting those behind. But Arab will be the next one to take over, so I'm going to gel up for him. We're not properly on the climb. This this is the toughest stage, and really it's not that tough. So, Villiers, give me your 99 here, bud. Burhi, not much, but this is giving a little cushion to the rest of the team. I'm not trying to do anything crazy or desperate here until it's time to. And Burhey getting dropped. Any break toe? No. De Villiers, can you uh, help break toe? Arab looking pretty good today. Really helping us out through this thing. 98 riders left. It's only 3.5k to climb, but it is 10%. Red bar is gone. I want you to sprint. Yeah, there you go. Putting the field under a little bit of pressure, but not bad. And we've split the field. We have split the field. Oh, boy. Here we go. Arab, out of energy. 7.5K to go. De Villiers has been dropped. We've got a good we've got a good gap. 
Pergil in between Versness hanging on. Capable sprinter could end up winning the stage, but what can we do? Arab's done. We're going to try to put him on the back. Uh, Tony. Need like a 92, bud. Ooh, ooh, what happened to our train? Tony has just a little bit left on to uh, Shimwe. 6k. Yeah, red bar is gone, but give me that yellow. Shimwe just go as hard and as long as you can to keep that gap. Down to five. Versness is here. Aram getting dropped. Hershey's chasing. Tony. Just 32 riders left. A Holy crap, Aventipool. Wow, Aventipool is here. 81, 82, 81, 82, 79, 81. Like, insane. Absolutely insane. Regil, Hershey. What can we do, bud? What can we do? Shimway, 3K. 3K. Nearly done. Nearly done. On to Samuels. 97. 2K. 13 seconds ahead. Sprinting. And sprinting. Come on, come on, come on. I knew we were setting him up. Ah, oh, Bullebron comes so close. But we got a 2-3. We already got our stage win. We already got our stage win. 24 seconds. And there's Hugo Page coming out of nowhere. Tiberi. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've got a stage win already. We've got a 2-3. We've separated the field. We are going to have time gaps. Unlike the last stage where they gave same time to everyone, that was technically a sprint stage. And this game, getting gaps on sprint stages is almost impossible, even when you have a good hard-earned one. This is a punchy stage. That gap's going to be given. That gap is going to be given. We have just secured... Mullebron and Samuels inside the top three. And in reality, it should be a 1-2 ahead of uh, Versness as Samuels was second. I don't know. He was second and third. That's 10 seconds. Versness has a win. So it might be for a 1-3 right now overall. But hey, who's complaining? Not me. There it is. Mullebron in the lead. Two seconds ahead of Versness. Samuels. At 12 seconds down in third place. Vashek and Hershey. Hugo Page had lost time somewhere. Somehow. Shimley in eighth. Good stuff, folks. Good stuff. A 138. Loving it. One stage left to go. Oh, this is frustrating. The best defense against having to uh, chase the break is supposed to be putting someone in it that did not work at all so now quick step was not setting a tempo that was going to work and it was very quickly exploding to a eight minute gap uh, we are now getting that back under control a bit and uh Arab will not work at all so it'll keep him fresh being up the road Uh, we might have our hands full with this one. Maintaining that gap as nobody wanted to uh, do anything with these guys. And with Arab, it wouldn't have put us in the race lead. There's guys that are better placed than him. That was the problem is I needed to have somebody that would have been the best place. that would have just taken over as the race winner. Arab would have been nice, but these guys around him, a couple of them are higher placed than him. De Villiers would have been somebody to put in the break today. So gap already back down to 715. 93 kilometers to go. That's not that far for that big of a gap. Down to 645. Others now contributing and chasing. That's good. Protect our leader. 
And let's go get some water. Five minutes. It's coming down pretty quick, actually. These guys can actually back off a little bit now. Four and a half. Four minutes. It's actually already back down to a respectable gap that suggests we can sit up with at least one of these guys. Under three minutes. We are okay. We are okay now. The nervous moment, the nervous energy, no longer an issue. One rider has been dropped. At least we weren't the first one to get somebody dropped. We, we got two guys that are pretty close to getting dropped. Teams are committing and uncommitting now that it's at three minutes. And we're coming up on the cobbled sector. This is the only reason why you don't just quick sim a stage like this. It was a simple sprint stage, except a little gravel sector makes it not so simple. 243 the gap. Arab hanging on just fine. And here we go. We are into it with the main group. Shimwe. Wow, look at that. Arab. 217 the gap. I want you to wait for this rider. Leave them behind. Villiers. Wow, three of these guys have been dropped already. We've got a shrinking Peloton, a Shimwe. His eighth place in jeopardy. We will sacrifice that one. 17k. Do we need to be protecting Mullabron or can we continue to try to protect Samuels to make sure he gets there? Down to 79 riders now. Crazy tempo. Gemma Visma is heading it right now. There's a little undulation in here and it's happening right now. Right here, right now. 82 chasing 6. 30 second gap is all. And we're inside 10k. Little downhill has made all the difference for these guys. Five kilometers to the finish line, so here we go. Uh, this is now about getting there in one piece. Gel, 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 gel. Uh, Ishibwe is going to go to the very back. Samuels to the back. Molebron, Arab. Why? Because of the fatigue level. We're not trying to win a stage today. We've already got our position secured with a 1-3. This is now using Arab, who has energy and doesn't matter positionally, to lead out Molebron lead out Samuels to lead out a Shimwe to hopefully see it to the finish line. 3.9k. 3k. Pushing a little harder. We are in position. Okay, 99, 2k. Sprinting. 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 No time loss. Unless Shimwe loses time. DeGent takes the win. Not Thomas. Shouldn't see a time loss, but you never know. Shimwe may have lost time. But our two key guys, our first and third overall, they are safe. Nobody who is a threat to us gained time. So our 1-3 is secure, but is 8th secure? Mullabron, confirmation of same time. Samuel, same time. Arab, same time. Ashimwe, same time. Okay, we are safe. He does drop a couple spots, but he keeps a top 10. That's the time gains to Bont, move it up. Uh, Van Esbrook. Breakaway, maybe? Gain a few seconds? Probably what that was. 
Uh, Mulbron takes a win. Mason Samuels takes second. We got our stage win, and we win the overall. We are starting off absurdly well this season with some uh, really, really strong positive results. Folks, I know I'm on a short episode here, but uh, I got a bit of a he- bit of a headache, and I'm running short on time today anyway. So I am gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. But I'm gonna wrap it up with another positive. That positive being Johannes Dalek has leveled up. He has joined the Four Star Club, the fourth member of that club. Five, if you count Samuels, of course he's alone in the Five Star Club. But and this is a good one too because his time trialing. Uh, picked up some really solid points here. Really useful as a team time trialist. He will be now 76 time trial, our best by a couple of points. He was a 74 uh, the other day. Also, his prologue up to a 75, and I think that was about a 73 the other day. So he picks up about roughly two points time trial, two points prologue. His downhill also increasing to an 80. Fantastic downhill. If he can make it through a climb, he can make use of that downhill to lead a team forward and make really good time on a descent. Uh, 68 Mountain, 70 Medium Mountain, though, is a little concerning on what he could do with a descent with that type of climbing prior to it. But he'll get there. He's got plenty of uh, room to be a strong all-around rider. He was training as a stage racer, so I can see why the time trialing is where he kind of got the bulk of those points. We'll change that over to Climber now to help balance that out as he uh, progresses. And one last thing here. This year, I'm really dividing things up. Now, the first two races had the same team. The same seven riders racing both of those and working towards the uh, eventuality. But this season will be our most diverse yet. Last season, I I bragged about how we were growing in diversity, and then the team largely was the same riders day after day. We didn't see a whole lot of change. We, we definitely saw the most we had seen so far. We weren't reliant on the same five, six guys for every race. But this year, there's going to be a ton of difference, one objective to another, in terms of the team that we bring to the race. And that is combination of factors Uh, one a little bit in the necessity part of you've got to have some rotation otherwise you're going to have a lot of fatigue which is something that did happen like last season but two with a couple guys gone we finally we suddenly find ourselves with a mixture of young riders that are very similar in capability very similar ratings to each other not a huge gap except for at the bottom of the team that three, three and a half star range in particular, those guys are very, very similar to each other. And a slightly different profile will favor a slightly different rider. And a plus five race day condition for a guy who's only two points below, he's going to end up being substantially stronger with that plus five. And therefore, splitting up those objectives, splitting up those fitness peaks, spread out more throughout the team, could lead to a lot of really strong positions for our team, a lack of fatigue, and a chance to see different riders. And I'm excited for it this season. We're going to have a very different look uh, race by race. But so far, the look is 100% sponsor confidence after just two races into the season. But how well can we maintain that momentum that we've uh, picked up here early on? We've, of course, had our success and super success. Already five noteworthy pluses. Mullebron winning the tour, uh, getting a double plus, and the leader's jersey. So he gets three pluses overall for that. We get two pluses on that last race. But nothing happening in, in the registered riders. However, I could see right here that both Mullebron has improved his evaluation already. So he has gained some uh, popularity points for his early successes. And so is Samuels, as he's already exceeded what we had in terms of evaluation for Gibbons. And that's going to help that squad evaluation quite a bit, especially if we can get some more results in the near future. In particular, Samuels, you would expect, can handle some climbs better than anything we've had prior. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.